Hey everyone, this is Mike. Today we're going to be playing some One Step from Eden. Now, I usually don't really do these live commentary style videos, but I do quite enjoy making them. So if you enjoy watching them, let me know in the comments down below and then I can keep making these kind of videos with maybe some other games as well, like for example, Hades, Wizard of Legend. Those are games that I do quite enjoy playing, but they don't really fit a normal commentary style, uh, commentary style type video as much. Uh, as something like a live commentary one where I just play and I talk over the gameplay like that. So do let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of content and then I can just keep making it if you do enjoy it. Also want to very quickly make a shout out to my Patreon. I have one set up right now so if you do want to support me, link is in the description. So one step from Eden. It's a roguelike game that came out a few days ago. I think it's like two days ago by the time that I am making this video and that you will see it. Um, but it's a game that I've been excited for for quite some time. It's about, I think, three months ago that they released the demo version of the game. I ended up playing it quite a bit, a few hours or something like that, because it was just so much fun. And I've been looking forward to this game ever since. And when it actually came out, I was surprised at how much there's actually in this game. So for now, I'm not going to explain too much about like all of this stuff with PvP, co-op, library, whatever that stuff is. I'm just going to hop into some single player. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different characters that you can play. Cool thing is, each of these characters also have an alternative playstyle, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be playing as the default character with the default playstyle. There's also an alternative playstyle, Chrono, which I do enjoy a little bit more because it allows me to slow down time and set up some really cool skills that way or dodge out of certain patterns. But I'm just going to show you the default gameplay uh, of what you can kind of expect if you do end up buying this game. Going to be playing normal mode because, of course, hell mode I don't have unlocked yet because I haven't actually beaten a normal runner yet. Uh, and also hell mode was really difficult if it's anything similar uh, to what we had in the beta. Now, as for the normal combat, it's relatively standard and straightforward. I have a weapon, which is this little minigun, I guess you could call it, that I'm shooting. And then I have a couple of skills that I can use that come in the form of cards. So basically, this is a mixture of... Uh, let me see... Starting with max mana, it can be really good. Slow enemies, I don't really need that, so I'm gonna start with the mana. Um, this feels a lot like, basically, if you take Slay the Spire and you mix it with Mega Man Battle Network. So I have my side of the field, then the red tiles are the enemy side of the field, and then I have three abilities available to me. So I have on the left my cards that I'm gonna be drawing, I have my cards drawn at the bottom and also on top of my character, and then I can play them by just pressing Q and W. Now I don't actually have enough to cast my W skill because of course I only have 3 max mana. You can also toss away your cards to just like redraw your hand if you want to do that. And you also get a normal attack. Now for example with this one it's just like a minigun that I shoot that does a little bit of damage. But as I said for example if I played her alternative style then I would be playing... Uh, what was it called again? Like with the freeze time mechanic basically. And then also very a la Slade Aspire where you can... Uh, like, choose where you want to go kind of thing. Alright, so that's that one taken care of. I'm going to throw my hand away because I only have 3 mana. I am going to need to level up before I can actually cast that arrow skill. The reason why I picked it up is because it is very strong. So I do want to go get it. Uh, let me see. I'll get the Thunderstorm. And again, it's another 4 cost mana skill. And there we go, a mana gem. So I'm going to be able to cast that now. Um, with this one, I'm gonna need to be careful that I don't kill her. Uh, well, for this one, it didn't actually matter because... Uh, let me see, what do I want this? Um, I'm just gonna skip the rewards here. Um, but basically, yeah, you wanna try and save these NPCs as much as possible. That one ended up healing me, so not too big of an issue. Um, because, of course, I already was full mana, or like full HP. So it didn't really matter that much. Quickly gonna. Oh, I actually wasn't close enough. And this one uh, triggers when you move. So every time that you move, they get a stack, and then once you have enough stacks, you can kind of go from there. Um, this is a really potent move. I can get some more fire spells. And that allows me to also show you something else. So you can open up your deck over here so you can see what cards you have. And then over here, you can actually set a focus for which spell type that you want to find the most in the shop. So I'm just gonna throw away this thing. For example, you can also take out cards as much if you have removal. I only had one removal at the start. So I'm basically gonna be trying to find more anima spells and that will kind of synergize relatively nicely. 
and these things will actually give me some gold so that I can get those as well. And then hopefully I can kill this right before it explodes. If my W is strong enough. It was! And then I can get some bonus gold. Uh, apply one fragile, that is very nice. Of course we have... Uh... Actually, yeah, that's very unlucky. I'm gonna skip these. Uh, you can choose where you want to go, kind of. Uh, so for example, if I wanted the shop, I should have taken the top route. I ended up going the bottom route, because at the start, of course, you don't have as much gold to spend. And then, actually, I'm going to re-roll my cards, since I don't have any fire on the field just yet. I'm actually not really used to pressing my auto attack anymore, because I've been playing around with the other characters a lot more. And uh, they actually have some uh, different basic skills, basically. Uh, let's get some other mana. Oh, I could have actually gotten the HP as well for all of the cards that I would have in my inventory. Oh, and actually getting hit by his attack is not that great, because he makes you shuffle all of your cards. And if you shuffle, then of course you do lose all of your... Uh, well, it takes a while for you to get your cards back, basically. I'm gonna wait until I can cast my big arrow. And it whiffed, and then we just reshuffle. Now for this one I need to make sure that that doesn't happen, because otherwise I just get my movement slowed and he hits me. Well, the movement doesn't even get slowed, I just can't move and he hits me. There we go. Frost is also a really cool mechanic. Basically you just stack it up three times and then when you hit it again, it just does some bonus damage. Of course all of the frost skills will also apply frost. Oh, I actually whiffed that one, that was uh, unfortunate. There we go. At least I hit him with that. And then I can set up, because they usually show where they're gonna land back again. So as you can see he's gonna land over here, I should have redrawn. I'm gonna make sure I don't get trapped into those. And then there's also some RNG spells as you can see on that one for example. It's not guaranteed that you're gonna be landing in the correct position. Oh, this is actually kind of risky. Meh, let me just auto-attack him to death. Now, at the end of each boss fight, you get to choose to either kill the boss, or you can save them. Now, actually, how much HP do I have? I can use the HP, so I'm gonna choose to spare him, and now I am basically gonna be getting a heal from him. I'm back to full HP. I think it's like 400 or something that you heal. But the, uh, the cool thing is that even after they've basically done their stuff, it's possible for them to like come and help you out, which we might see later down the line, we'll have to wait and see for that. I'm gonna take this for more frost, because of course we do have a couple of frost spells. Um, do I want to go to the shop? I don't think I do. Uh, this is gonna get me into a place that I might not want to be though. I want to make sure that I don't kill our little researcher there, or well, our, uh, our medic, because then she will heal me at the end of the battle. So some really cool stuff that you can do with that. Uh, boomerang is pretty good because it roots, so it kind of works together with the arrow skill that I have. Um, let me see, can I get something that is AoE that doesn't hit her? Yes, I do. And then she gives me some stuff. So basically, always try to save um, the researchers or like for example the medics and kind of stuff that you can find because they will give you stuff which is really cool because it's kind of risk reward do you want to risk like taking extra damage whilst trying to save them no oh, actually got hit by that oh very nice the cleave and then uh, you get some stuff in the end so for example like you just take some extra damage while trying to save healers and then the healers will heal you at the end or something like that it depends um, let me see, do I want to lose maximum HP for spell power? I don't think so. This looks cool. I think that will be better than the mana regen. And then here, as you can see, the boss that we just save is gonna give us something. Which is always very nice. And then we can move on. I'm gonna see what's in this chest. Oh shit. Try to. How do I even see? 
survive this without like getting hit, I mean. I guess I do have enough HP. But it's quite annoying. Like there's probably a trick to it. Uh, like most likely I'll have to kill one, I would imagine. Oh wait, I can just kill it like this. I'm not used to using my basic attacks anymore. Because I've been playing around with characters that don't wait if you idle for a second. Oh, interesting. Deal 5 damage to all enemies when you cast a spell. That's really strong. Fireball, I'll take that as well. Really like that skill. And then we go into the boss fights. Now for this one it's kind of cool because you actually have to pick up her notes to gain a shield to survive through... No, oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, to summon her skills. And then I... I'm gonna try and pick up as many of these as possible, and then we survive the damage that she throws out right there. So I guess if I just stand here for a while... Wait, I just can't stand still. Just... Uh! Wait, I, I didn't get anything. Grab these again. It feels kind of counterintuitive to have both like fire and frost going at the same time, but like I think it's it pretty much stacks, so it's kind of cool. Root can also be very useful for, for example, if I want to hit with my uh, my lightning skills or something like that, um, because of course I'm gonna save her as well. Uh, although, yeah, I'll save her. Get back to full HP. Um, because, of course, it makes it easier for me to hit certain skills that have a very small hitbox, basically, like that thunder that does need to hit perfectly on the spot. There we go. There's only one enemy, but it's fine. I'm gonna... This is a really cool skill. I'm gonna take that one with me as well. And then, hopefully... Oh, let me see. Do I want to visit the shop? I think I do. Uh, so, for example, right here, she came in, gave me some spell power, and also gave me a shield at the start of the fight. So, as you can see, saving bosses is usually beneficial because it allows you to basically go further, but on the other hand, it's also very useful to kill them sometimes to get extra stuff, relics, that kind of stuff as well. I'm gonna take this because I do have a skill that makes flames go boom. Oh, and again, there she came. Oh. Should not have stood there. I still have a pretty tough time trying to figure out where I need to stand for these bouncy dudes. And there we go, and then she can heal me up. So as you can see, like I'm still taking a lot of damage, but I'm also... Um, do I wanna... I'm gonna skip these as well. Um, you can basically take a lot of damage, but if you save the NPCs and the kind of stuff, spare the bosses. Um, then you might just get out with a lot of HP still. Oh shit, they actually broke the tiles. Can be a bit tough to dodge. And there you go. Actually didn't take that much damage as I was expecting to take there. Which is really good. Um gonna take this. Luck can be good, but also makes it tougher. So since I'm not the greatest player at this game, I'm just gonna take it. Oh, I totally didn't realize that there was actually a healing spot here as well. So that's pretty useful. And then we have our shop over here. Now there is also a cursed shop, I guess you could call it, where you spend HP rather than spending mana uh, or like gold that you gain. I'm gonna take that. Um... Gain maximum HP when you save a hostage. I don't think I will. Um, I'm gonna buy an upgrade though for my spells. And do I want to get rid of a skill? That is a question. I don't think I do. So I'm gonna just buy a second upgrade. And let me see. I think I'm gonna upgrade the bow snipe. So this one will leave a flame on hit. This one gives me bonus damage. Wait, does it? 
No, 50% damage, but it gives me... Oh, it's only for one mana now. That's really cool. And this restores the mana cost. I think I'm gonna go for this one, though, because I do have some flame stuff on my... Oh, wait, I didn't upgrade it, did I? Oh, I did. Oh, no, I did skip the upgrade. Um, let me see. Splash damage. Leave the flame. Or consume but deal double damage. Uh, I think... I'm gonna go for the splash damage. Because it does do quite a bit of damage. Uh, I did totally waste an upgrade now. So that's not that great, but... Oh well. Still getting used to all of this stuff. Oh, I am in a very bad spot. Because I should have actually been on the other side. Should have been here. And I should have waited with that one as well. Oh, and I, I totally fucked that one up. Uh, where am I going? You always stand still. Alright, cool. You actually trapped them in there, which is really nice. Alright, we killed it. But, took way too much damage in the process. She's also one of the playable characters, by the way. Which, I find her playstyle kind of weird. Um, of course, I did save her, so I got some HP back, which I definitely needed. Um, also, one thing is that at the end of each boss fight... Uh, let me blow these up again. Uh, it was it again? What was I gonna say? Totally forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, anyways, moving on. I don't like this one. Classify can be good. I already have a lot of spells in my deck. Oh, do I want even more mana? I think this will be nice, because I do have some very expensive cards in my deck. Uh, I'm gonna take the top row, because I don't have enough money for the uh, the shop anyways. This is also a pretty cool skill, because you can just like keep throw like catching it and throwing it again. Uh, Ember, create a flame four tiles away, which will be nice. Uh, hopefully I can find another fire spell that interacts with me leaving behind fiery puddles on the floor. Like, as you can see, me keeping the... Oh, that's actually annoying that that's there. Like, me keeping the, uh, the music bus alive is actually saving me quite a bit. Uh, Firestorm, yes please. Because she's basically healing and supporting me, like, pretty much any time I go into the fight. Which is uh, very much appreciated, because she gives me not only spell power, but also some healing, I believe, and a shield. Uh, I'm getting hit by stuff that I shouldn't get hit by. It's kind of hard to identify whether or not these things are going to be, like, actual AoEs or not. So that's why I'm always trying to dash out of the way of them. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't really matter that much. I'm gonna take the defense, because I don't like gems in my deck. Uh, gems are basically cards that cost mana, but that you can't play. Uh, I am gonna be taking the heals here. Thank you very much. And then we move onwards. Oh, I can actually kill pretty much everything there. Um, This thing moves every time that I use a spell, I believe, which it does. Gain defense equal to your mana. Oh, current mana. Maybe not as great, but still okay. Um, this can be really good. But I'm gonna take this because I already have some decent amount of frost skills in my deck. Uh, I don't have anything to flow. And these are two flow skills. Uh, flow is basically a passive that you can kind of stack up as well. Uh, which is really nice. Oh, I don't like this guy at all. This is one of the bosses that I probably struggle with the most. Oh, I was too too soon.
Okay, let's get rid of all of these before he shoots the... Uh... Ouch. It's these bombs that usually catch me off guard. Oh, and I missed that one as well. Uh, I am safe here. So, for example, that time stop that you saw right there is something that I can do on the alternative version of this character. Um, oh, shit, I actually can't get there now. Okay, so I rooted him in place for one of his attacks that he normally like dashes across the arena for. Alright, hopefully this will kill him. No, it doesn't. He's gonna land there, right? Oh shit, they all exploded. Oh well, anyways, I killed them. Doesn't matter. Uh, where do we go? I'll just go back up there again. I'm not quite sure if choosing a different biome will actually affect anything. Uh, it might actually just affect which boss that you fight at the end or something like that, but I'm not 100% sure. Right, give me that heal, because I'll need it. Oh shit. Not quite sure how I can actually get rid of those enemies. They seem to just randomly maneuver around. There we go. Uh, more fire, I'll take that. And we move onwards. Um, don't have a lot of gold, so I'm just gonna go for the healing shrine again. Okay, so I can hopefully keep my ah! the waifu alive which oh this is actually rip yeah okay never mind doesn't matter okay now nah, she was gonna die to aoe anyways because that's the problem with my build that i do have oh, what was this actually i haven't seen this one yet Ooh, that's really cool I kind of want this. It looks really nice. But uh, yeah, so because I have so much AoE in my skills, I can't always control where I'm gonna fire, so to speak. So I do need to be... Like, I'm basically gonna have a harder time. Uh, gain spell power, lose defense. I'll take it. Uh, it's gonna be harder for me to basically save the hostages. Uh, duplicate this spell. That's cool. See, for example... If you don't want to constantly be redrawing, then this can work quite well, because you can just create duplicates of it. Kills an enemy, cost is again. Uh, no thank you, and I don't want that either. Wait, do I still have removal? No, I don't. Alright, let's get rid of those immediately. It's also one of the nice things about the... Uh Ah, in a very bad spot. A very nice thing about the skill that I was using. Oh, I should have actually... I have fire everywhere except where I need it to be. Um, what was I talking about again? I forgot already. That's my problem with this kind of thing. I just lose my train of thought because I'm trying to concentrate too much. Alright, let's heal up. So as you can see, now we have more bosses here. Need something? Yes, please. Give me all your stuff. Now, of course, because all of the bosses do get harder and harder as time goes on, um, how am I gonna save her? Oh, he moved! Please don't kill her. Woo! 6 HP. Very nice. Um, hmm. Oh, well, it's better than nothing. I guess it'll allow me to survive more consecutive stuff. Remove shield for targets. It's useful. Um, I think it does AOE damage as well, actually. I should have probably taken that now that I think about it. Uh, with weapon damage when using your weapon. This is not good because I'm not really gonna use my weapon much. Um, there is, for example, another character where that would be really good to have. No, I actually missed. So, for example, whenever I'm using this skill... Oh, I totally missed that. 
um, I will actually be able to like gain some extra stuff, which can be really useful. How many times is she gonna do that? But uh, since I'm not really gonna be using my auto attacks all that much because I already have so many skills. Oh, I still hit her, nice. That one totally whiffed though. I kind of want to wait until she's... Wait, oh, she summons knights at this level. I did not know about that. Alright, apply that frost, stand in the fire, and BAM! Alright, I'm gonna save her though. Uh, let me see, it doesn't really say anything. What else changes here? I'm just gonna take whichever biome I want. I'm actually curious to see how far I can go, because this is kind of the first I've ever been, I think. I do have some really cool skills, which that probably helps a fair bit. And the the music boss coming to help me out pretty much every time has been such a lifesaver as well. So it allows me to survive so much more. Create a circle of flames. Whoa! I can go like full pyromaniac. Uh, I do need to heal, although I can also use the shop. There are two chests on this route though. Uh, we'll see how much healing I actually need. Oh, and that one shot, nice. Okay, give me stuff. Rain down swords. Do I want this? Well, it roots. Roots is really useful for some stuff that I have. Wait, can I? Oh shit. I actually can't. Because she's a. Uh... Wait. Like this, it works. Okay, cool. I saved her. Nice. I was thinking of creating like a circle of fire around her, but that wouldn't have worked because I couldn't actually get into position because of the rock that was behind my body. Uh, wait, this will not hit her, right? Oh sh there's so many plants! Um, I am very stuck. Save me! Ah! Uh, I'm sorry, she's dead. You will be remembered. Uh, blow shit up. Fi fire, yes, more fire. Okay, I'm alive. Holy shit! That was a... Uh, uh, I am gonna... Actually, I have a lot of skills, so I don't really need to shuffle all that much. I'm gonna keep that. I think I'm gonna... Gain money, lose money... Small chance to deal 999 damage. Hmm... I'm gonna take the heal, though. Uh, let me see. Actually, yeah, let's just visit the shop, see what she gives us. She is not a cursed shop, so I can totally take this. Walk over broken tiles. That's uh, really cool. I'm gonna take that, actually. Mana region I don't need because I have a lot of region already. Uh, increase the shuffle time by 4 seconds. Gain 1 removal, gain 5 luck. No. Not take those either. I'm just gonna upgrade my skills. So, for example, which can I still upgrade this again? I think I can. It's pretty cool. Um, so, for example, the Twin Inferno. This does a lot of damage. Uh, bonus damage, 25% to apply frost on hit. That's interesting. Because that works together with my frost skills. I'm gonna take that. Um, and then we also have the circle that I do would like to upgrade as well. Uh, consume healing gave 5 max HP. Gain shield. 25% chance to hit twice. I'm gonna take the guaranteed shield and I would like it to come back. Because of course when you have a skill with consume, you do lose it uh, for the rest of that combat. So I don't want that. Uh, is that enough to kill it? Yes it is. Uh, this cure gives me gem. Which 
I don't want. Uh, this is a nice spell as well. You just basically throw out there. Have it follow me around. Let me see. Let's do some damage. Uh, of course, this is kind of uncharted territory because I have not been this far in ever. So I'm kind of going to have to wait and see what these bosses will do to me. Uh, I kind of fired that too soon. I'm going to have to clean these turrets up because... Uh, shit. This is spicy. Ah! Oh, and she actually, like, gives them defense as well. What is this? Hallelujah. Dude, so many explosions. Ah. Oh, actually... Is she gonna save me? Oh, she even... Yes, we do. So as you can see... Oh, shit! Okay. I am alive. That was very spicy. Alright, give me my stuff. Thank you. Woo! Was uh, definitely not expecting to live there. Uh, well, I guess our uh, our lovely lady is dead, unfortunately enough. Uh, you are on fire. So no heals for me on this one. Uh, while casting slots, gain four shield every second. No, I don't want that. Poison, I don't want that either. Where am I going? Uh, top side. Right, give me all that money. Oh. Somehow I killed him. I don't even know what I did to deserve that, but okay. Uh, hit all times randomly, can hit self. No, thank you. I don't want to kill myself just yet. Uh, okay, you go away. Ring of fire. Some random of those. Blow them up. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for him to. Wait, actually, I can kind of bait him in. Ooh! Okay, got him. Flawless, even. Definitely was not expecting that. Uh, push back enemies, gain one flow, don't want that. Uh, don't want that either, actually. Just gonna skip for now. I'm actually not sure if there is a maximum level that you can get in the, uh, the actual run either. As I said, uh, this is kind of uncharted territory for me at this point. Uh, okay, guillotine you. Oh, it follows me where I'm going. Okay, I see. These are also some enemies I haven't seen yet before. Uh, while you have flow gain power, I'm just going to gain the money because I don't have flow skills. And I am going to go for the heal. Alright, boys, heal me up. Thank you very much. And then we have the shop, who is not angry at me, so very nice. Uh, I think I might actually take the mana gem. Upgrade a spell, which am I gonna upgrade? A uh, firewall probably seems nice. Uh, consume heal, no thank you. Shield double cost plus mana cost. Uh, I don't care about the mana cost too much, because I have 8. So that'll be fine. Uh, the dual cost will probably be really cool. Alright, goodbye shopkeeper. Uh, the shopkeeper is actually also a playable character, by the way. Does she do it 3 times now? No, she doesn't. Okay, good to know, because the thing is... Uh, what? As you get higher with her... She does that skill twice now, so it returns rather than just going once, so to speak. Uh, 
And it seems like she also does some random attacks on the field now. Okay, so that's the, the follow attack. That one I'm gonna have to run through. Oh, I went too fast. Ah! She's a, a very fast character. Kinda hard to hit her. Oh, can I root her? Yes, I can. Uh, okay, I haven't seen this attack yet. But that's straightforward enough. Still alive? No, never mind, I'm dead. I need to be cooler. Oh, wait, right! I am playing as the normal version of her! I totally forgot I get a revive! I'm so used to having access to the Chrono Watch that I totally forgot that this character revives herself. Um, I guess this is the final stage? Dude, if I'm able to beat this, I'm gonna be really proud of myself, because I've never even gotten close to this. Wait, what the hell is this? Is this like the final boss or something? Definitely does have a lot of HP, that much is certain. Uh, breaks tiles. Ooh, those are some very big explosions. What is he doing? Oh, I see. Uh, eh. Oh, so they bounce inwards and outwards. Oh, that's so weird. So th those are the same as the normal enemies, but... These, these things are really weird to dodge. Okay, got it. Uh, okay, okay. You stay there. Oh, dude, he has 300 HP. I can execute him with my thing. Or I'm, he's close to it, at least. Wait. Okay, that, that follows where I go. Does this- oh wait, shit, he's not dead yet. Or is he? Oh, I guess I needed something. But hey, I'm very happy with this. I've never been this far, I guess that's kind of like the final boss. Like, phase 1 out of 2, maybe? That was a, a lot of fun. I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of unlocks, I think. Because, uh, of course, the more you get into the level, like, the more levels your character has during the run, the more experience you get to your account at the end of it. So I unlocked a new character, we have a new artifact, a new skill, an artifact, and a new weapon. So now I can play as Celacy, which actually I think I have a skin for, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, exactly, I have a Catgirl skin for her. So I can basically play whichever of these two I want, because I got the skin from leveling up earlier, but... this. Once they're from Eden, I hope this was fun and enjoyable for you guys. As I said before, if you like this style of content, let me know in the comments, because then I'll definitely be making more. I am having a blast playing this game, as you can probably see uh, from my reactions from some of the new things that I just discovered. Really enjoying it, so if you want to see more, let me know. With that being said, I want to thank you for watching, I want to thank my Patreons for supporting me, and I'll see you in the next one.